There are a variety of community shape generators that you can use on Tinkercad that will be very useful for designing your chess pieces. To get to them, click on this right-hand side. You see basic shapes, text, symbols, connectors, extras. Then we have featured shape generators and community shape generators. They both have a variety of things that are very customizable. For example, here's the butterfly. The butterfly has some cool features. I'll zoom in on it. You can actually customize the wings and change the shape of the wings by moving these nodes right here. You can change the, the height or the thickness. You can change the angle of the wings. There's a number of things that you can do. Here's an example over here of the pawns that I made for my chess set. I just added wings to these hearts. I thought that turned out pretty well. Another one I wanted to show you is this twisted polygon. I'll zoom in on that and change the color of it so it's a little easier to see. We'll go with light green. We can change the number of points, so we can increase the number of points or decrease the number of points. Of course, we can change the height. Um, there's just a number of different things that we can do with this to customize it to make it fit our needs for our chess piece. Here's how I ended up using it for a chess piece. This over here is another um, shape on our community generator. I'll have you zoom in. We can change the number of waves on there to just two, or we can keep increasing them. So if you want to make some sort of crown, that's really easy to do. Underneath, there's another shape that I found. I'll duplicate that one and pull it out and zoom in. Again, this is fully customizable. I can change the number of points. I can increase the inner radius to make it a little bit wider. I can increase the height, of course, to make it thicker. So again, I highly encourage you to take a look at these community shape generators. There's also the featured shape generators. There's a number of customizable objects over here that you can use to create your chess pieces. Have fun.